your name on there, or Patrick Melton. Kind of irks me a little bit to use my real name every once in a while, but I really can't help it because it's on my fucking YouTube account. Not that I'm scared of anybody. They come out here, we got something for them. Said on live stream, quote unquote, don't come to my house. I can hear me. Hmm. It's about three minutes behind. Usually. That's why it gave you the blue screen, because I just started it. It won't show it for about three minutes. But it would have. Because I have it set up that way. Because I would have to ask you for permission otherwise. What do you mean? Arrow guy. Oh, that's a uh, Mirage Archer. Mirage Archer. I'll, I'll do a link of it. You can see it here in a second. That's the experience one, right? With, it's a blue one with the triangle in the middle or whatever. I believe that... I, I've never really used it, like... If it calls for it in a guide or something like that, more than likely it gives it quite a substantial boost. I know mana multipliers do large increases of damage. But I've never really liked to level them. I think it's equivalent to like two skill levels or something like that. I can look it up though. Mana multiplier, I believe, modifies all the. Uh, damage types, but I can look it up real quick. Path of Exile and Enlightened Gem. Oops. 
and Lighten is primarily used to decrease the amount of mana reservation of linked skills. This effect is multiplicative with the effects of times percent reduced mana reservation modifiers, though Enlighten can also be used to decrease the mana cost of linked active skills. Reduced mana support is better for that purpose. Enlighten is a drop only gem that doesn't have any effect at level 1 and can only reach level 3 through regular experience gain. The required experience to reach level 3 is considerably greater than normal gems. This level cap can be exceeded the same way as others. Enlighten only affects active skill gems, meaning skills granted from items can't be supported by it. So if you had a 6 link and you put all of your mana reservation gems in there, it's going to reduce them by 95% I think. Yeah, like free or something. <clears throat> what curse are you hitting with? Um, yeah, do you, uh, you like vulnerability? Vulnerability is increased melee damage. Oh, let me find it. Let me find it. Oh. Punishment is melee physical damage on melee hit and, and, and attack speed. And let's see. Where's vulnerability? Vulnerability is cursed enemies take 37% increased physical damage. Enemies have a 20% chance to be maimed for 4 seconds. Enemies have 20% chance to be to bleed when hit by attacks and 30% increased physical damage from damage over time. Okay, so what I was thinking you wouldn't even need to run that curse at all. You could have a free slot there's an item you could use that would cast it whenever you hit them. But you remember what I told you when we first met. I'm the kind of person I'm always trying to find a way to use all unique items and still have max resistances and good stats. I only have two rare items I usually use. I have been working into uh, transitioning to where I have like max maybe three unique items or four instead of the entire thing because I usually go with a unique belt, rings, amulet, weapon and shield quiver or other weapon and I can go with a unique helmet I get rare boots and rare gloves but this build here will actually probably be all maxed out resistances and 100% uniques right now my resistances are crap but
Where's that? <coughs> Okay, back to my uh, lightning arrow, the way I was. This is actually what it would be kind of doing at the uh, end of the game. Kind of thing to everything. Oh, dang it, I have a portal right there, I'm a dumbass. Yeah, if you don't mind, I would turn on the party chat audio. Alright. Well, it's already on. Yours probably isn't turned on. If you can't hear yourself in the video, then it's in your settings probably. Because mine are there. Yeah, they're there. portal before you close. Boodoop, boodoop. Yeah. I mean, you can have it in your offhand weapons and they'll get experience. I found out a couple uh, recipes that I really didn't have any knowledge of. Uh, I know how to make uh, veil orbs through the vendor now. I know how to make regals through the vendor now. I know how to make chance orbs through the vendor now. Well, better yet, you got your phone in your hand? My mana is gone. Okay, go on the Google Play Store and search for Passive Exile Guide. It, it has an app that will give you all kinds of tips and information on there. I mean, I downloaded it last night and was looking at it. It's made by a Brazilian or Spanish man, but it's in English. You know, I went to town to get my Mirage arrow and never did. I mean, blink arrow. Dang. Which one? Like, which app? It's gonna have, uh. No, Path of Exile G U I A. G U I A Umbrella 
Iguana Alpha. with gems this season. Like, so lucky. Whoops, I had two Herald of Ices in. so much stuff in it. I've only made it to the orbs recipe and I didn't look any further yet. I had to send you a picture. Or I could take him go in here and tell you what it looks like. Alright, on the play store if you type in the search bar, Path of Exile, and Path of Exile alone. Uh, for me, it shows up one, two, three, four in. Guide, Path of Exile, Tips, and something by Calvin Alvum. Whenever you open it up, you'll see why I gave you the letters I gave you. Recipes. No, they've always been there. I just didn't know them. Yeah, you sell seven veil gems. Regular number ones. And... And at Ziri map piece, one-fourth to the vendor, and they give you a veil orb.
and the game wouldn't be any fun anymore. That's the fun part. I have pursued a greater existence for us all. What have you ever done but serve yourself? Death doesn't fix anything, Piety, but at least it won't get any worse. They have that. You can save up all of them into a whole bunch and go and push a button on the damn craft machine. Well, I mean, it's just part of maps. You expect to just come in the game and then have it available for you, or do you want to work up to where you can actually do that? Well, you gotta search out your crafting materials, you gotta search out your crafting recipes, you... you have claimed the most in real life, you don't know how to go and make yourself a piece of tanned leather, do you? Okay, so what do you use to make tanned leather? Tanned leather? Wherever he... Okay. Okay, so you're a huntsman. You, you know these things, you go hunting. Not everybody does. These are tools and acquisition skills. It's trying to teach you something in real life, too. Yeah, but do you use do you use the skin to make tools from the bones? I said, do you use the skin once you've tanned it to make tools from the bones? I'm saying not everybody has those skills. That's something they have to learn. It's something they have to acquire first. What I'm trying to get at is, is that the reason why they have it where you have to go and search out all these things is they want you to work for them. They don't want them to just be available for you to go and craft the most badass shit right off the bat. You're supposed to have some sort of reward feeling groups because this is a, a three-month league I mean not everybody's going to be intelligent enough to the first week go and get into a tier or monster level 90 plus area and get some white items and a couple hundred exalted and uh, 20 mirrors and all that currency in less than a month or two to go and use it all on one item to roll a mirror tier item and then have people who want to buy enough of them that they become available for everybody to buy that's why you don't see all that stuff we're just now getting to the point to where the items have three or four modifiers on them with skills like support gems and come okay because it takes time they that's they just released new hideouts they were the first person to purchase the hideout through the microtransaction I saw it, it happened too and if I would have known that they had, I would have bought it the other day. Well, there's hideouts in the game that you can get just for free, and then there's hideouts in the game that are really nice and really like luxurious and built for people who have money to spend on that. Yeah, but they can get featured on fucking YouTube. They can be uh, chosen as a gift. Like, you can get prizes for being number one on everybody's vote list or whatever the fuck it is. 
you can win money for doing stuff in this game just for doing nothing like just playing and making something the way you like it decorate your hideout make it look cool make a YouTube video like this is my crib and you take them through and show them what everything and I shit you not there have been people that have done that and they have gotten featured on Path of Exiles uh, weekly video or whatever it is and got like a thousand dollars or something they don't have to You notice how mine's set up? It's for efficiency. I don't know if you went into mine or not. I got a very small one. I mean, there's like hardly anywhere to run. No, my hideout. I got the baleful hideout. The little map area. I got Navala down to the bottom of my waypoint. I got Zana right above it against the wall. I got Helena and Einhar right next to my stash to the right of the waypoint. Crafting benches above them to the right by the stairs. Map devices down the stairs. I got Nico right next to that so when I come out of my map I can sell stuff if I want to. And that's it. Well, I know how to use my analog. I have three things that are close together right next to the waypoint, and that is Helena, Stash, and Einhar. Helena, sell. Hello. Helena's quicker. Hello. Hello. Einhar's maxed out though. Greetings. He's level seven. Hello. Need a map? Zanya's level five. Nico's level three. Where'd June go? What the fuck? Come on, June, show yourself. And Alva disappeared too. Al Alva disappeared as well. She was in here. Where'd she go? No, I'm saying they were here. No, they're gone for real, man. They were here. I can't even bring them out. I don't want to reset though. Where did they go? Only one there is Alva and the thing. There's Jim. Okay, I can't bring them out. I guess I'm going to have to reset. Dun dun. I know what I get to do. 
Einhard's my favorite as well. Hello. Uh, Helena, select hideout. And we're gonna go with... You ain't never notice where you find them at. They're always right in the middle of a whole bunch of those spiny beasts. To select a different hideout altogether. Hello. I guess we're gonna go with this luxurious one then.
Yep. There we go. That's a little better. So come check out my new hideout. I need to move her back a little bit. There we go. And it is. But my luxurious, I mean, my other one was way better. Like the one I just had. This is all minimal in here. I mean, I could delete all this shit out for all I care. I mean, the only thing I do is this, open a map or something, but, let's see, alright, let's get this shit done. None, none. Gotta give me some water.
Easy. We get this character in the 70s today. My mana is gone. Is that a new character? You said you've hit the point where you can neither or you can do either. Yeah, I understand now. God gave this world to man, not to you, little girl. Fought for God. Like bubble thing? Fight for exile. Yeah, when you get to level 99, dude, you know how much experience it is for level 99? 100? No, it's more than that. Did I just crash for real? No. Uh, it is equivalent to going from level 1 to level 99. All combined together. The highest I've ever got is 98. And that was way, way back. Ziri, at Ziri. By the last one or the second one? All right, you you killed the woman last, didn't you? Oh, you're talking about at Ziri herself? That's the last fight. That's the last fight. Where she's round and does a like she's got a little bubble around her and she's shooting out red red circles and orange circles. Yeah, they're they're orange or whatever.